everyone, Alex here. Today we're gonna to talk about Entry Engineer and we're gonna talk about the roadmap page. So on the roadmap page, I have basically laid out a roadmap for every kind of tech job almost. Not every single tech job, I'm still gonna add more on there later, but it has data analyst, data engineer, software engineer, mobile engineer, you know, a lot of different kinds of engineer, a lot of different kinds of tech jobs, IT support. So today will be a short video. We're just gonna go like a brief overview of the roadmap and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. And basically like they're all clickable and what you can expect on there. So let's take a dive into it. Let's take a dive into the roadmap right now and I'll show you guys, you know, we'll go slowly down the roadmap. And here we are the entry engineer roadmap, entry way, paying homage to snake way. So here we go. Uh, the roadmap thumbnails are all clickable articles. Most. I've actually decided that for now, I might move these back to free members. I might move these back to free membership, but as of right now, you can just view them all as a guest. You don't need to have a membership. There are a few that would require free membership. I think SQL, uh, and there's a few others like iOS. There, there's a few that would require it, but for the most part, you can view almost all of these as a guest as of right now. So entry engineer roadmap, you click this one. And it goes over Harvard CS50, which is a free YouTube course. Uh, you can also take it on EDX for free as well, I believe. So it basically teaches you, teaches you all the fundamentals of computer science, which is useful for any kind of tech job, any kind of tech field. You know, it's CS50 is like, you know, it's been kind of goaded over the years as one of the best places to really get your feet wet with computer science. It's not going to teach you any like you know, like great skills, but it teaches you theory of computer science. It teaches you what computer science is. It's just a great starting point. So if you're brand new to tech, brand new to computer science, like you know nothing, no program, no nothing. Like this is a good place to start. Now, if, but if you do know some computer science or, you know, you want to kind of like skip ahead because this is, this is a very time consuming course. I think it's like 26 hours. So, if you do want to kind of skip ahead and you're trying to accelerate, then you can always skip this as well. I, I wouldn't say it's like extremely required. Uh, you can also skim through it also. So this part of the roadmap, you have earned college degree. Uh, it takes you to my webpage, majormash.com, which is another one of my brands. You guys know that have been watching me for the past year that I help you guys get a bachelor's degree in one year. I've shown many, many people how to do this over the course of the year, and I've helped many people become, you know, a bachelor degree graduate within, you know, six to 16 months or so. It is very, very possible. So on this website, Major Mash, it'll show you how to do that. And it kind of goes over which degree you'll need for what career as well. You go to the Python page. So Python, you get a full course here, another free YouTube course. I picked this guy because I really like his, uh, I really like his material. It's like straight to the nitty gritty. And he has a, it's a pretty good entertaining voice as well. I really feel like if you're going to teach things, you need to have an entertaining voice. Like if your voice is not, you know, I hate saying this because, you know, I love supporting fellow YouTubers and things like that. But if you don't have an entertaining voice, um, like your voice is just not good to listen to, then, you know, nobody's going to listen to your course or stay tuned to it. So front end development. Uh, this will go over. I, I will add more to this soon, but this basically will teach you HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I recommend the Meta front end course. I'm a big fan of the Meta courses. Skip SQL for now. We'll go to data structures and algorithms. There's a big write up here on why data structures is important, and I go over why, uh, like what is data structures. You got, you got your arrays and your linked lists and your stacks and all of this that I go over. So. You can read all of that. And then there's IT support. So I do suggest the Google IT support professional course, which is like one of the absolute most popular courses on the entire internet. And that actually probably would give you about 90% of the knowledge you need to pass the IT certification at entry engineer. So take that course and do a little bit of like 10, 15% more studying, you know, use the study guide on entry engineer and you shouldn't be able to pass that certification. So iOS engineer, uh, 
So that one would be for subscribers. Now we are on the product manager page and product manager is a great career guys. A lot of actual software engineers go into product management. So they'll spend like a few years software engineering, decide they don't want to code anymore. They don't want that grind. So they become a product manager. Now you can get into product management without being like a software engineer or anything. Uh, a lot of times you'll need probably like a tech bachelor's degree more so than a business bachelor's degree. I think a great combination is like if you have no experience, then a tech bachelor's and a MBA master's is a great way to break into the industry. There's also certifications. There's this product management certification on this website, Entry Engineer. Uh, there's also other product manager certs you can add too that are on other websites. So uh, lots of good courses on product management. The one I like that I really scoured the internet for is this Xbox product manager one that is brand new and just kind of caught my eye here. So, you know, if you're into video games and you're trying to become a product manager, this has some really good stuff. So I like it. I think you guys would like it too. So we go into, so this one right here, data structures, interview prep, you can download my ebook. So this is my ebook and engineer coding interviews. And it's basically like, it's about a hundred and something pages. It goes over about 21 coding problems. It is short summaries with short stories. So short summaries with short stories. And it's more of a preview for the coding interviews I'm going to put on this website in very, very detail. But this is like a warm up, and it kind of gets your feet wet on coding interviews. And this actually is 21 of the most common interviews when it comes to technical interviews. So I picked 21 of the most common ones. They are not the exact coding interviews, of course, right? I can't just rip those and put them in the ebook, but it is the same concepts of those 21 most common coding interviews. So if you master those, then you should be able to pass the ones on the actual interviews. So, and down here you got your AI stuff like introduction to artificial intelligence. I go over AI as like the next big boom and have a little write up here. And down here, there's a lot of more good stuff. You click your engine engineer certifications. Here are the badge concepts for the entry engineer certifications right here. So certified practitioner, software engineer one, certified practitioner, data engineer one, certified practitioner, IT support. So you're supposed to be able to magnify these. I'll fix that later, but and then you click get certified and that'll bring you to the certification page. And I'll be, I'll be making a video on these certifications going into them in way more detail in the future. So that is the entry engineer roadmap. They're all clickable. It all gives you something to do. And it is possible in the future when I have time, I might make in-depth courses for each one of these instead of linking them to somebody else's course. So maybe I will uh, have an in-depth course for all of these. Obviously that would be a lot of work, right? That's like 15, 20 courses, but overall this is, uh, it links you to what I think is the best place to learn. So the best place to learn, uh, if you wanna become proficient in this subject, if you wanna become proficient in SQL, I recommend a place to learn. Same thing with Python, front-end development. And if you want to get a college degree fast, you can do that. You can get a college bachelor degree in one year, guys. I've shown many people how to do it, and I've done it myself. Start to finish, I graduated with a computer science bachelor's degree, nonprofit, regionally accredited, in about 12 and a half months. So you can do it. Many people have done it. I've seen some people graduate in four months. That's a little ambitious. Uh, and usually you would do that at UMPI and maybe TESU, but WGU is going to take you longer than that. But overall, thank you guys for watching. This is the Entry Engineer Roadmap, Entry Way. So as I said, this was going to be a short video for today. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. Please subscribe, like, or comment, especially when you comment. If you comment, it sends the video into the algorithm, and I really appreciate that. So take care, guys. Thank you.